Good afternoon and welcome to the final day of the Alzheimer's Association International Conference here in Chicago, Illinois. I'm Dan Lawler, the Executive Director of the Desert Southwest Chapter. And I'm Claire Day, the Chief Program Officer of the Northern California, Northern Nevada Chapter. And we're here to give you updates from this final day at the conference and it was an exciting it day It was today. an exciting day. We had a couple of really big news stories come out. We really did. It's those emerging trends and research coming on Absolutely. and first up is actually the Sprint Mind Study which is the first randomized clinical trial that showed an actual effect on the development and the risk reduction of MCI or mild cognitive impairment. So it was a two-year study that they used people who were 50 years and older and also had a risk of cardiovascular disease. And they saw that by reducing blood pressure down to 120 or below, we had a 19% reduction in MCI being developed in the clinical trial group, which is amazing work. It is actually the first disease-modifying strategy ever. Uh, so this is exciting news coming out of the, the conference today. Yeah, absolutely. We also uh, had a result of uh, an announcement from Biogen and ASI, who were able to give results from a phase two uh, clinical trial of an anti-amyloid drug um, called BAN2401. Mm -hmm. um, the researchers, researchers reported that several, uh, um, several results on their trial trials which included the reduction of amyloid plaque and improvement of cognition and right. function. So this is really intriguing data. Um, we know that uh, they're going to be looking a little bit more into um, exactly what they need to do as, the, as far as their next steps. This is a phase two, two style study, not a phase one study. Um, but we also know that it was a smaller study. Um, so you know we know that there's more work to be developed there, but while it was smaller, um, it did demonstrate both clearance of amyloid plaque from the brain and cognitive benefits. And so what we saw from some of those outcomes is that the, on the highest dose at that 18 month um, marker, the drug was successful in reducing the amyloid plaque burden in the brain. The majority of study participants went from an elevated amyloid plaque level to a non-elevated plaque level. And in the highest dose arm, cognitive decline at 18 months mm -hmm. um, was reduced by uh, a 30%, which is a statistically significant uh, finding. And so, you know, those are the sort of buzzwords you hear when you when you look at some of these um, disease modifying and, and altering uh, drugs. So really exciting day here from, from our Wednesday day at AAIC. We do have, there is a few more things tomorrow, but Dan yep. and I will not be uh, reporting back and we're gonna be heading home after a long uh, week but an Energizing exciting week. It is. This uh, is why we are week. here. Exactly. And it's so. great to see so much going on in, in the research community. If you want to learn more about some of the details of the trials, you can visit the website and actually read some of the more scientific jargon and information. ALZ.org slash AAIC. And I think it's worth noting this is the highest attended AAIC on record. Uh, they're currently at about 5,900. Uh, researchers and and the insiders we talked to today are hoping that they're going to be close to breaking that 6,000 mark. You know, and the key word there is it is hope. I think hope. today really is bringing hope to the field. Absolutely. All righty. Well, thank you for joining us today.